everyone, welcome to Map TV. And for those of you who don't know, I'm Miss Adrian, and today we'll be learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube. All right, so the first step, as you can see, this one's already solved. So the first step you want to do, you want to mix it up a bit. Make sure you're just twisting and turning in no particular order, just so that you can get the colors out of order. All right, now that we've done that, we want to make sure that the yellow side stays up on top the entire time, which means the white side stays in the bottom the entire time. So the first thing, the first step in solving for the Ripley's Cube, we're going to solve what's called the daisy. Now the daisy is when we have a yellow center surrounded by four white edges. So you see we have an edge here, a white edge here, here, and there. Now there's no really set formula for getting these white edge pieces next to this yellow center. You just kind of kind of kind of got to see where the edge pieces are. Take a second and look how you're going to get that piece in the middle. As you can see, we have our yellow center surrounded by four white edges, and that's what's called the daisy. Now the next step, we're going to bring these white edge pieces down here on the bottom, and we're going to make a white cross or plus sign, depending on how you see it. And now in doing so, you want to see what color is opposite of that white edge piece. So you can see here, this one is orange, this one is red, this one's blue, this one's green. So for example, this one is opposite an orange piece. So we're going to align this orange piece with its orange center. So twist it until you get there. And you're going to rotate this front side a couple times, either clockwise or counterclockwise, till it's on the bottom side where the white side is. And you're going to do that for the last three pieces. So this one's red. We're going to align it with red. Rotate it a couple times. Rotate this side a couple times. Align it with the green. Rotate a couple times. Now we have our cross or plus sign. Now we're going to finish solving for the rest of these white pieces. So we see we, we're going to look at this top layer up here. You see we have two white pieces. So let's look at this one. We see that this one is next to an orange piece. So in that case, we're going to make sure that that orange piece is diagonally aligned with its orange center. And since it's on the left side of this orange piece, with this left side, we're going to rotate this left side counterclockwise once, rotate the top side counterclockwise once, and rotate the left side again clockwise once. And as you can see, we brought it down. We're going to do the same thing for every piece, every white piece that's on this first layer. So we see this one is opposite a blue piece. We're going to diagonally line it with a blue center. And since this white piece is on the right side, we're going to move this right side once clockwise, move the top side once clockwise, and move the right side again once counterclockwise. Same thing, it's opposite of blue piece. It's on the left side to rotate once counterclockwise, rotate the top side once counterclockwise, and rotate again clockwise. And we have one more piece, so this one's opposite of green. Rotate it so it's diagonally, diagonally aligned with the green side. It's on the left side, so rotate once counterclockwise. Rotate the top side counterclockwise and rotate one more time clockwise. And as you can see, we've solved the entire white side, which in turn solves this first bottom layer, as you can see here. Now, the next step, we're going to solve the second layer here. Now, in doing so, we're going to look at these edge pieces up here. We're going to see which ones don't have a yellow side. So this one's fine. It's green and red. This one is yellow and red, so we're not going to worry about that just yet. So this one here, we have a green edge piece on top next to a red edge piece. 
So with this green piece, we're going to align this one with the green center, making an upside down T. So you can see here, since, this, since the red piece is on the left side, we're going to rotate this top side once counterclockwise and do the move that we learned earlier. So with the left side, rotate once counterclockwise, rotate the top side once counterclockwise, and rotate this left side again clockwise. Now, as you can see, we displaced this white piece. And as we're solving for this second layer, we're going to be continually displacing the white pieces. So as we go along, we're going to want to continue putting these white pieces back on the bottom, just as we did when we solved the first layer. So we're going to align this with the red center. And it's on the right side, so rotate clockwise, rotate clockwise again, and then rotate counterclockwise. Now we're still looking at these edge pieces. These ones have yellow, so we're not going to worry about those ones. This one is orange. It's already aligned with its orange center. Now we're looking at the color on top of it, which is green. Green's not on the right side, so it's on the left side. So we're going to rotate this top piece once counterclockwise and perform the same move that we did earlier. So rotate the left side once counterclockwise, rotate the top once counterclockwise, and rotate the left side again clockwise. We displaced the white piece, so we're going to go ahead and fix that. And we're almost done. So we see this one's blue. We're going to align it with the blue center. Orange is on top and on the left side. So rotate the top side once counterclockwise. Rotate the left side counterclockwise. Top side again counterclockwise. And left side again clockwise. We're going to put this white piece back. And as you can see, we've solved for the entire second layer. Now that we solved these first two layers, now we're going to solve this yellow side. Now the first step in doing so, we're going to make a yellow cross. Now for this part, we're going to look at these edges. So don't worry for now if you have corner pieces that are yellow or not yellow. We'll get to that later. So if we have two edges like we do here, we want to rotate them. So those two edges are at the 12 and 9 o'clock positions. And we're going to perform this move, a certain move, until we have this yellow cross. So we're going to move this front side once clockwise, the top side once clockwise, the right side once clockwise, the top side once counterclockwise, the right side once counterclockwise, and this front side once counterclockwise. Now as you can see, I got this cross and doing that move one time. You yourself may find that you need to perform that same move a few times in order to get the desired effect. So remember, that move was moving this front side once clockwise, moving the top side once clockwise, moving the right side once clockwise, moving the top side once counterclockwise, moving the right side once counterclockwise, and moving that front facing side once counterclockwise. Now to finish solving it, we need to put these yellow corners in place. So if you see that you have zero or two yellow corners, as you can see here, we have zero corners. We're going to rotate this top piece till we have a yellow, pe a yellow piece on this corner right here. This is what we want. And we're going to perform a new move. We're going to move this right side once clockwise, the top side once clockwise, this right side once counterclockwise, the top side once clockwise, the right side once clockwise, the top side clockwise twice, one, two, and the right side once counterclockwise. Now, if you see that you have one corner piece, you want to make sure this corner piece is on this bottom left corner. You don't want it here, here, or here. You want it just like this, pointing down. And you're going to perform the exact same set of moves. So, right side once clockwise, top side once counterclockwise, right side once clock counterclockwise, top side clockwise, right side clockwise, top side clockwise twice, and right side once counterclockwise. We've got the whole yellow side solved. Now we're going to look at this top layer here. We can see that one side's already been solved, and these corners match colors. Now if you have one side that's solved already, you want to hold that side away from you. And now we're going to solve 
put these pieces back where they belong. We're going to put this green piece here, this orange piece here, and this red piece over here. So we're going to remember, hold the solve side away from you. Move this front side twice clockwise. Move this top side once clockwise. Right side counterclockwise. Left side clockwise. Front side clockwise twice. Left side counterclockwise. Right side clockwise. Top side once clockwise. And this front side twice clockwise. Now we're almost done. We're going to do the exact same move again. This front side twice clockwise. Top side once clockwise. Right side once counterclockwise. Left side once clockwise. Front side twice clockwise. Left side counterclockwise. Right side clockwise. Top side once clockwise. And this front side twice clockwise. And there you have it. We've solved all the sides. And all these moves are going to be hard to learn. So you're just going to, it's basically, you know, just repeating the same moves a few times until you get all sides solved. All right, and that's how you solve a Rubik's Cube. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was a segment of a map how-to. If you'd like to see more videos of how to do other things, let us know, and I'll see you next time.